The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to create a new page template inside of Microsoft OneNote 2010. Now, the first thing is, if you like the background that you have on the screen, for example, let's say that I've cleared and removed the date from this page. If I want to save that as a blank page template, I can. All I have to do is to come over and click on this drop down, and that's going to reflect new page, but I'm going to come over and select page templates. If you'll notice down here in this section, it says create new template. If you like what you currently have, for example, the, bank, the blank page template, just click save current page as a template. That's all you do. And in this instance, if you want it to say blank page template, you can call it whatever you want. And here you can check set as default template for new pages in this one section for miscellaneous if you want. I'm going to leave mine the way that it is, and I'm going, to click, I'm going to choose Save. The next thing I'm going to do is point out, I'm going to click on a new page. In this area, you'll notice that I started off with the same blank page template, but what if I want to build a template from a part of a page template that's currently created inside of Microsoft OneNote? So for example, I'm going to choose one of the items for planners, and I'm going to choose Simple To-Do List. If I decide that I want to use this as my own template but modify it, I might change it to something like this. So when I go in and modify it, let's say I don't want the date information, so I click it and I delete it. And at this point, if I want to start it off with that information, what I can now do is come over here to the right and I can select Save Current Page as a Template. And in this area, I can say Letitia's to-do list and it'll save it with that modification and I'm going to set it as the default for new pages in the current section. So I'm going to click on save, I'm going to close out of this area and I'm also going to right click to delete this template so that you can see what happens at this point. When I select new page you can see that that template pops up. So that's what you can do in order to save a template or to modify a template or to keep something in Microsoft OneNote so that it's available whenever you desire to use it as a new page template. 